Here is a common mistake in decimals. When we see these two numbers, 0.25 and 0.3, we think that 25 is bigger than 3. That means 0.25 must be bigger than 0.3. But if you look at the first decimal, 0.25 are actually 25 hundredths and 0.3 means 3 tenths. So you are comparing hundredths with tenths. That's why you make a mistake here. So it's a good idea to see both the decimals out of 100. So let's write an extra 0 after 0 0.3. So now it looks like 25 and 30. It is easier to compare and we know that 0.25 is smaller than 0.3 or 0 0.30. So whenever you see decimals of different lengths, always put in extra zeros at the end to adjust the length. That makes the comparison easier. Here is another example 0 0.4 and 0 0.063. Again, instantly it feels like 4 is smaller than 63. But what you can do is write extra zeros after 0.4. So it looks like this 0 0.400 and 0 0.063. And now you know that 0 0.063 is smaller than 0 0.4.